Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and welcome to Shawnee's Word of Encouragement. A lot of us have been impacted by the enemy in some way, shape, or form. He has come after you. He has come after someone that you love. And sometimes we don't fight back. Sometimes we just take it and we just roll over and we become submissive and allow him to just wreak havoc in our lives. But I want to encourage you to start fighting back. How do you start fighting back? You start fighting back in the word of God. You have to know the word of God and you have to know the word of God and have it hidden in your heart. So when he brings weapons, when he throws different things at you, you can allow God will have something to work with in your spirit so that when he brings something to you, you can automatically dismiss it. You can dismiss it by um, quoting the scripture. You can dismiss it by um, going back to that word and saying, the devil, you are a liar. I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer. I know that God loves me. I know that God said he will deliver me. I know God said he would never leave me nor forsake me. But if you don't read the word for yourself, you're not going to know that God says these things. So I'm going to encourage you to read your word. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, yes, God will lift up a standard against him. Yes, he will lift against him. Yes, he will lift up Jesus' blood-stained hand, Jesus' blood-stained back, Jesus' blood-stained head, Jesus' blood-stained side, Jesus' blood-stained feet. Yes, he's going to lift up that blood stain, and that blood stain is going to back the enemy up. But you have to do your part too. You have to know the word of God. We can't just always just lay down and just let the enemy beat us up and beat us up and beat us up. We have to take authority over our lives. We have to learn to take authority over our situations. You got to realize the enemy is invisible. So you need God to help you to fight, but you got to give God something to work with. We expect God to do everything for us. It's like you going to the ATM machine and knowing that there have not been any direct deposits made into your account. You know that you have not physically made any deposits into your account, but you go there and you insert your debit card expecting to be able to withdraw something. You can't withdraw if you never put something in. And that's the same thing with God. In order for God to um, be able to bring something out of us, he has to have something to work with. So God can't bring up the word in our spirit and we're never in the word. God can't bring up the words of Zion and we're not listening to gospel music and we're listening to everything else except for the stuff that can uplift us instead of the stuff that instead of the stuff that can motivate us instead of the stuff that can give us strength so i want to encourage you not to lay down and just take what the enemy is doing to you learn to fight back with the word i remember watching wrestling and for any wwe fans out there especially during the attitude era with the rock Dwayne Johnson, that's my all-time favorite wrestler. He had this saying that he would say to his opponent, laying the smack it down, or I'm going to lay the smack down, meaning I'm going to put you down. I'm, I'm not going to allow you to get the win over me. And that's how we have to be when it comes to the enemy. We have to learn to lay the smack down on the enemy. We have to learn to lay the smack down on satan and we lay the smack down by reading the word of god we lay the smack down by what we're going through we're praising god in the process we lay the smack down on the enemy by when we're still going through and we're in affliction and our bodies are in pain and we don't have money in the bank but yet we're still giving god worship we're still giving god honor we're still giving God glory. When we do these things, we're laying the smack is down on the enemy. So when you're not feeling well, when things is not going right in your life, when everything is ha havoc in your life, but yet you're still giving God honor, yet you're still giving God glory, yet you're still giving God praises, yet you're still saying hallelujah, yet you're still saying thank you, Jesus. Every time you open your mouth to say hallelujah, every time you open your mouth to say glory, every time you open your mouth to say thank you, God, every time you open your mouth to say thank you, Jesus, you're laying the smack down on the enemy. You're laying the smack 
down on Satan. You're laying the smack down on against everything the enemy is trying to do to you. Every weapon, everything he has in his arsenal to try to use against you. What you have in your arsenal is the blood of Jesus. What you have in your arsenal is prayer. What you have in your arsenal is the word of God. What you have in your arsenal is praise. What you have in your arsenal is worship. These are the things that we have in our arsenal. And we have to use what we have in our arsenals to overcome the enemy. We have to make sure that we have on the full armor of God in order to lay the smack of down on the enemy. So I just want to encourage everyone out there not to give up, not to lose hope. Don't keep laying there and letting the devil just keep coming to you, coming to you, putting negative thoughts in your mind and you're thinking on those negative thoughts and then you start believing the negativity that the enemy has placed in your in your mind. No, 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 we're not going to do that any longer. We're going to start thinking on the word of God. We're going to start quoting the word of God. We're going to start praising God in the midst of the situation. We're going to start worshiping God in the midst of our turmoil. That's how we lay the smack down on the enemy. So I want everybody out there to make sure you have your armor on. Make sure your arsenal is full so that we can lay the smack down on the enemy and everything he tries to do to us. God bless you and God bless you.